Welcome to our new course, the ultimate introduction to Octane for Cinema 4D. This course is the result of four months of hard work and dedication and I'm thrilled to finally share it with you. This in-depth exploration spans over almost 20 hours of on-demand videos encompassing 95 meticulously structured lessons, leaving no stone unturned as you delve into the world of Octane. Every single minute of every single video is carefully planned and designed to give you the best learning experience possible. You can expect the same high quality content that you've come to love from Mograph Plus. We'll keep the course updated for at least a year after the initial launch, but we usually update our courses for longer than that. Now, let me tell you more about what you will learn in this course. We start off the course by introducing Octane for Cinema 4D, where you can find all the Octane tools and functions and the general workflow that you need to be familiar with when working with Octane for Cinema 4D. Next, we move on to lighting, which is one of the most important aspects of any render. You will learn the fundamentals of lighting and different lighting techniques, as well as the unique and powerful lighting tools that Octane provides. You will learn how to use primitive and analytic area lights, AI lights, emission and IES lights, HDRI and texture environments, and Octane daylight and planetary. You will also learn how to light interior and exterior scenes in Octane and how to use light linking and light mixer to control and adjust your lights in real time. Additionally, you will learn how to create volumetric lighting effects using fog volume, volumetric spotlight and post effects such as light beam and fog. After completing the lighting section of the course, you have mastered the art of lighting in Octane, from grasping the fundamental principles to wielding the vast array of lighting tools at your disposal. In the next section of the course, we'll explore Octane materials and nodes. Not only will you learn about all the specific Octane materials, but you will also gain a solid understanding of the core shading principles and advanced techniques in shader creation. We will start with the Octane standard surface material, which is a versatile shader that can create all sorts of materials. We will cover this material in 11 in-depth lessons where you will learn how to use all its parameters and features. Then we'll explore bump and displacement mapping in Octane and how to create realistic surface details. Next, I'll show you a simplified approach to shader creation using the standard surface material, where you will learn how to create common materials such as plastic, fabric, wood, concrete, metal, and more. After that, we will learn about other Octane materials such as diffuse, glossy, specular, metallic, and universal. We will also learn how to use composite material and texture, mixed material and texture, and layered material to create complex and layered shaders. Furthermore, we will learn how to use hair, tune, null, and clipping materials to create different styles and effects. We will also learn how to use transform, projection, and triplanar nodes to precisely control how textures are mapped and projected onto surfaces. Then and we'll see how Octane can read and render MoGraph and field colors and how to randomize textures, colors and UVs in Octane using various techniques and nodes. We will also get to know the jittered color correction node, ray switch node, vertex map and attributes nodes. We'll learn how to add decals and stickers and how to use the PBR texturing workflow in Octane and much more. Almost every single Octane material, map or node is covered with practical examples throughout this section. By the end of this section, which includes almost 40 videos, you should be very comfortable developing complex shaders in Octane and gain the ability to craft a diverse range of materials from the mundane to the extraordinary in Octane. Next, we learn all about cameras and how to use them in Octane. You will learn about different camera types, depth of field, motion blur, and other camera related features. First, we explore the Octane camera in depth and how to adjust its settings and parameters. Then we'll learn how to achieve realistic depth of field effects and how to add optical vignetting, split focus diopter, and various chromatic aberrations. Next, we'll learn how to add and adjust motion blur in Octane and how to use it to create dynamic renders. We also discussed denoising and upsampling using the Spectral AI Denoiser and AI Upsampler and how to use these features to improve the quality and speed of your renders. Then we talk about different camera types and universal camera modes in Octane and how to make fish eye, panoramic, stereoscopic, and VR ready renders. We also learn how to add post-processing effects such as bloom, glare, and chromatic aberration and how to use these features to enhance the look and feels of your image. Section 5 of the course is all about rendering with Octane. 
First, we talk about the live viewer, which is the most important part of Octane. You will learn how to use the live viewer to manage, preview, and adjust your scene in real time. Then we'll learn about the fundamentals of image sampling and ray tracing with Octane and how to control the quality and the noise in your renders using techniques like adaptive sampling. We also talk thoroughly about all the render kernels in Octane, including direct lighting, path tracing, info channels, PMC, and photon tracing. You will learn how to use each kernel for different scenarios and purposes and how to optimize your render settings. Then we talk about ACES, a system to manage color in all levels of the production. You will learn what ACES is and how it works, how to set it up properly in Octane for Cinema 4D, and how to deal with ACES managed renders in post. You will also see some examples comparing ACES and the default color manager, and why ACES is just way better. Next, we explore the AOVs or render passes in depth. You will discover the purpose and content of each AOV and how to export them properly for post-processing. You will also learn how to work with render layer, output AOVs and compositing AOVs both inside Octane and outside Infusion. We dedicated more than two hours to teach you everything you need to know about AOVs. We will also cover the rest of the render settings in a few videos and at the end you will get a brief introduction to Octane standalone application and how to use it to build and render scenes. The following section explores some topics related to Octane Object Tag, Vectron, and Octane Scatter Object. You will discover how to use these tools to adjust your objects, generate procedural geometry, and scatter instances. You will learn how to use VDB volumes to render volumetric data in Octane, such as clouds, fire, smoke, and explosions. You will discover how to render open VDB and other volume formats in Octane, and how to adjust their settings and parameters. You will also find out how to render Cinema 4D's pyro simulations with Octane and how to create stunning and realistic effects. If you want to learn Octane for Cinema 4D, this is the course to get, period. This is literally the ultimate course for learning Octane for Cinema 4D. We put a lot of effort into our courses to ensure the quality of them and you get a well-organized, academically-oriented course that will launch your creative career to new heights. This is our 23rd online course here at MoGraph Plus in the past decade. Thousands of students from around the globe have participated in our courses and I invite you to join them and learn from the best Octane course available online. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.